So let's begin. Week zero is basically going to be setting up your development environment and learning environment. Before we even jump into how to code, you have to make sure that you have everything ready uh, and squared away before you start emailing me and the TA to like, how do I do this? So use this first week to do that. Now on Moodle, as you can see, we're on Moodle, there is a wonderful getting started page. And the entire point of the getting started page, as you can see, is going to be hosting your slides for this class and getting started if you click those instead of watching the video first. But the first thing I want to focus in on is joining typos. Now, you do have the join link option, and if you click on that, that will open a new window. Now, if you don't have a account on typos, which may be the case for many of you, you can come in and there's a nice little sign up button and just put in some information. So in my case, I'm going to be a demo student, demo at, or you can see I've done this before, but for a new one, demo at demo.com, they're going to be that password, and I sign up. And congratulations, you have joined. So if I come in and go to that demo one account and I log in, you'll get a nice little consent inform information. Just again, I'm doing research. This is my research. So you are welcome to say yes, you do want to be a part of my research subject or study or no, you do not. You simply will go through this. Please actually go through this. I'm scrolling through just to show you what to do but you'd come down here at the very bottom uh, i accept i decline i'll say i accept because research i hit submit now if you find yourself on this even though i clicked on that join link i know it you know i haven't gotten around to fixing that part yet oh, sorry but the entire idea is well okay go back that join link will still work click on it again Congratulations, I'm now enrolled in the course and you can see it'll redirect you and put you onto that page. You can click into this and in fact, this is how you would do it. And every module that is currently visible will be available to you and you can expand on these as necessary. Once again, two of these exercises are going to be for your attendance next week, not this week. But as you can see, there are a number of different exercises that you could work off of if you just want to practice. So for example, if you want to practice on your debugging skills, because that is going to be something that you're gonna need to do, here's a snippet of code. There is one error in this code. Where is it? And then obviously you would go through and you would uh, work through that problem. So again, just make sure you have that squared away. If you can see this uh, on your side, you're good to go. The other part of this is that we are going to be working with Anaconda and specifically Jupiter and Spider uh, when we are coding. And so again, just like you did with uh, typos, click on the link, it will take you to Anaconda. In this case, there's so many different things you can uh, go to. The quickest way I found to kind of install and work off of it products, individual edition. That'll take you to uh, sort of another page, hey, and then there's your download link. One final click, pick on which one of these is your develop your operating system. If you're on a Mac, Mac, if you're Linux, Linux, you get the point. Uh, it is going to take some time, as you can see, 477 uh, megabytes. So, you know, make sure to click download uh, and then, you know, just go take some time. Mine's actually going super fast, so it may not take that much anymore. Either way, run through the install process. Uh, I've already done it because obviously instructor, but you will see a page like this. Now, this is effectively just uh, Anaconda showing you all of the different uh, options. It may look slightly different depending on the version, but specifically when we're thinking about working in this class, uh, we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook. Basically, this is the environment that we are going to be operating from. And so you can click on launch and give it a minute. Ah, it's going to open up a new 
uh, page on your browser and yes it will take you to something like this uh, this is just you know my personal uh, accounts for everything and so as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on there even like my stuff from UNCW days which that's years ago but my computer is old um, my personal recommendation is to go in uh, to either your desktop or your documents. Pick one of those, you know, which one works for you or the equivalent for Macs and Linuxes and build in, in uh, a folder there. So in my case, I'm gonna work off of the uh, desktop and I've already got one, but uh, for the sake of our sake, I will get rid of it. Must be in, oh. uh -huh. Delete, can't even show it off because Okay, so in this case, uh, once again, I want to build that CSC 111 folder. Over here on the top right, you see there's a new option going in there and specifically working off of a folder. Now that is going to create the untitled folder and it will make a bunch of untitled ones, twos, threes. I do recommend you rename it because that is important. And to do that, you select it. Ah, and there's that wonderful rename button. So. CSE 111. Now from there, you can go into that folder. You can make more folders for like each individual week, for your projects, for your homeworks, things of that nature. But when you are working on building out your assignments and your uh, coding along, it's the same kind of process. You'd go to that new option, but instead of saying folder or text file, you would build a new notebook with Python 3. That's going to load it up and congratulations, you now have a development environment that is ready to code. You can uh, rename it instead of it being untitled, you can click on untitled to uh, change it. So in my case, I'll name it demo. But the entire idea is that uh, Jupyter is going to allow you now to have individual cells. And the entire idea behind a cell is that you can put little bits of code in each one of these. And we'll talk about them as we go into this semester. But if, say, for example, I wanted to say hello, you can shift enter, which I just did. So if I came in and changed this to goodbye to make it do the thing I have to do, I'm going to shift enter. To do it and as you can see it says goodbye the thing about this is this is going to allow us to save pieces of information as we kind of learn and start to build things out so next week when we start talking about variables i could make something like x equals five and then i could add uh on another line print x and that'll show that five It'll also allow me to make modifications or put multiple things on the same line. So I could do x equals 7, y equals 6, z equals 5. And so now I have uh, three variables in one spot. What's really good about this is I can also jump back. So maybe I made a mistake somewhere in my code. I can jump back up to uh, print hello. Oh, look at that. I was able to fix it. Now, the last little bit here is when it comes time to saving, saving your notebook and uploading it to Moodle for grades. You'd come into File, you'd come into Save As, and Save As Relative. Actually, not Save As. Save As, uh, instead, Download As. Blanked on my face. Uh, the entire idea here, Download As, Python. And just like any other browser in the world, you now have the option to download your uh, file and name it as necessary for your assignments. So congratulations, you've just set up your environment for week zero, you are done with the week.